Hey, what's up guys? So today I traded uh, two tickers. Um, both ended up being winners. Um, Wix was one of the tickers that I took. Um, I saw that it collapsed like big time. Uh, there were some doubts about its uh, earnings potential, etc. It dropped, helped this level. It actually broke a bit further, but really it formed the double bottom here. Um, on the way up, I took a small size. Um, and uh, it did come back down a, a, a bit again, uh, forming like a, a W pattern. Um, but once it was holding this, it just you know went off. Uh, but because it was a very weak stock, I didn't want to um, push it. So I got out right when I saw that level two, it started to like uh, peter up um, a bit. And so um, here, as you can see, it got pushed back and whatnot. So it was just like bouncing around here. Um, so I just got out really quickly because this stock is pretty versat uh, volatile and I actually took this after I took my trade on BNTX, which was a, a pretty big winner. Um, I took it twice. So I, I want to keep my profit, etc. So I don't want to be too greedy. So I, I got out, uh, you know, potentially prematurely, but at the time level two was looking a little wonky. So um, anyway, I didn't want to hold it and then give back profit. So I, I got out. Um, plus I got a small size anyway. Um, that being said, this is a pretty good run. This is an extra two points um, that could have captured. Um, I got close to two points um, already uh, just with this uh, this one. So um, anyway, so that's that. That was Wix. Um, for BNTX, um, I took it, and this may look small, but it's actually pretty big. Um, Again, these are pretty big movers. Um, I took fairly small size, but that's enough, you know, given the size of the moves. So it dropped, uh, again, this also dropped a lot, um, you know, double digit uh, percentage, 30, 40, $50, you know, both of them. It dropped, it held this level. The reason why it held this level is because on the 60 minute, you can see there's a uh, nice moving average here. So based on how weak it is and the fact that it just bounced off of this, uh, my thinking was similar to Wix, just get in, get out, um, get your profit. And so it hit that level uh, and it, it did drop a bit below. So it hit that bounce, hit it again, um, went below it a bit and then uh, it bounced. So that's where I entered um, and uh, on the pop, I, I just got out. Um, thankfully I did, because uh, it did drop again. Um, that would have probably stopped me out uh, because that would have been breaking the low of the, the day. I would have just got stopped out and then missed this run here. Um, so yeah, uh, that was a good, uh, good, uh, you know, good quick scalp for me. Um, and that was it. Uh, reversal didn't really happen until now at 3:37. So yeah, this is uh, a pretty, pretty big move. But who, who knows, right? Like, you don't know if this is going to be a real reversal or not. Um, let's see, that's 215, 215, 345, half brick. So if you want to do a booty reversal, it'll be all the way down here. It'll probably take it around 343. So probably right as it breaks out of this, that's when you'll probably take it 343. Which makes sense as you do the cross. You enter that uh, but anyway all right so that's it um, that was it for uh, for for, the, for this trade um, it's kind of a I guess 343 you still have some good runway yeah because my fear for taking it at um, at so low it did do this tweezers though that I think that might be a good sign as it goes moving up so 340 343 yeah that's probably a good entry. So it did form this um, tweezer at almost exactly the same area. And then on top of that is you have some run runway. Cause I usually will exit at around this level. Cause to me, that would be like a, a resistance. I don't know if this is where it kind of probably right here at 353 where it just bounced around a bit. Um, but yeah, either way I'm done with my day. So, um, so yeah, peace out.